on the occasion when you go to print a file and it just simply won't work. You need to know how to troubleshoot the problems and see what's going on with your printer. We're going to explore a couple of different methods here. First, we're going to try sending some files to our printer. You can use the exercise files if you've got them in the 0902 subfolder of the Chapter 9 folder. We've got a few here. I've already tried to send one. Now I'm going to send the other two. I'm going to go to the Excel spreadsheet, select it by clicking, and then choose Print. Off it goes. Same thing for the annual report, a Word document. Launches Word quickly, closes it up after it's sent to the printer. And everything seems to be working fine, but as I look over to my printer, nothing's coming out. Well, sometimes what you'll notice if you happen to see it in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen is this little printer icon that appears on the taskbar. It'll show up there. It'll flash sometimes very quickly and disappear if everything's working fine. But if everything's not working fine, it'll just stay there. And as you hover over it, you'll see a little message. In my case, three documents pending. Well, we can get quick access to the queue of files waiting to be printed by double-clicking this. And there they are. There's the one I started with before this movie began, my veggie stir-fry. We can change the width of these columns to see the full names, or you can just hover over them to see the full name. But there's the other two that didn't come out because the first one stuck. Status says it's printing. Everything seems to be okay, except if I look at the title bar, my printer seems to be out of paper. Well, we can do things from this queue. For example, if we no longer want to print the Microsoft Word document, maybe we sent it to another printer or somebody else printed it, right click and you've got some options. From the pop-up menu, you can pause this, you can restart it, cancel it altogether, or access the properties for that particular file. I'm going to choose cancel, which I'll need to confirm by clicking yes. It's no longer going to be sent to the printer. It's as if I never printed it in the first place. Let's leave the other two there in the queue for a moment and explore another way to get printer information. That's from your devices and printers. Select the Windows Orb and choose Devices and Printers. Now here you're going to see all your devices, again, including your printers. The printer that was set up as the default in the previous lesson no longer shows a green circle with a check mark, but rather this warning sign. As we hover over it, you can see the status. There's two documents in the queue and the printer is out of paper. So I see that just by hovering over. And we talked about something in a previous lesson known as device stage. When you plug in a new device, drivers are automatically searched for by Windows, installed for you, and the device should be up and running. Many devices have a device stage interface. In other words, manufacturers have provided Microsoft with extra tools and a user interface for working with that device. And it just so happens my HP DeskJet's one of them. So if I was to select this, I get information down below. If I double click, I'm going to open up that interface. So here's another way to see what's going on. For example, my printer is out of paper. Now if I select this or where it says two documents in the queue, I'm going to access that same queue I just had a moment ago that I accessed from my status bar. So if I choose paper out, sure enough, it says out of paper at the top. I need to go fill it up with some paper. I can close that up. I'll see the exact same information from here. Here I'm going to see some of the settings for the file. If I choose letter portrait in this case, you can see I'm taken directly to the paper quality tab of my printing preferences. So I can make changes here. For example, I can change it from letter to another paper size. This is while it's still waiting to be printed. And that's a nice little feature. I'm going to click Cancel. Now down below, we can also access the queue by choosing See What's Printing. Now one click only selects it. Double clicking is going to open up that same queue. Customizing your printer and adjusting printer options allows you to get into the printer's properties. If I double click Adjust Print Options, you can see it's the Paper Quality tab, again, that's selected here in my Printing Preferences. I'm going to close that up. And if I double click Customize Your Printer, again, I'm at the HP DeskJet Properties, and the General tab is selected here. I can change the name of it, and I can go to any one of these other tabs as well. But I'm just going to cancel this. We don't really need to do any of that right now. All right, so now we add some paper to the printer. You can see what's happening. You can see two documents in the queue still. The printer is now ready. It's not out of paper. Now we're down to one document in the queue. And as my printer continues to print out the various copies of my files, 
I'll see the status has changed right here from this screen. And at any time I can access any of those properties and preferences. But when we're done, simply close it up. And we can close up the Windows Explorer with our files and allow the printer to do its thing.